candidates in races nationwide putting those finishing touches, those final touches on their campaigns exactly one week ahead of Election Day. And happening today, Minnesota Governor Tim Walls making a campaign stop right here in the Hostess City. This is the Harris Walls campaign's latest attempt to reach voters in the state of Georgia. WJCL 22 News is Kyra Navo joining us live in the studio. And Kai, what can we expect from today's visit? Well, Frank, so Vice President nominee Tim Walls will be campaigning here in Savannah to get voters to the polls just before early voting will end on Friday here in Georgia. Now, his rally today is actually called Get Out the Early Vote. Now, the Democratic candidate will speak this afternoon in Savannah and will end his day in Columbus, Georgia. Now, he was previously in Arizona and Wisconsin, where he talked about job security and also health care. On the Republican side, J.D. Vance will be in Michigan today. He will speak about early voting as well as it began in Michigan about three days ago. Now, prior, he was also in Wisconsin talking about inflation and immigration control. Now, let's take a look at current voter turnout. According to the Secretary of State in Georgia, over 2.8 million ballots have been submitted. Just over 7 million people are registered in Georgia. Now, in the Palmetto State, the latest report from the Election Commission shows over 700,000 ballots have been submitted, but only about 3.4 million are registered in South Carolina. Now, Vice President Harris will be in Washington today for closing arguments about her campaign, while former President Trump will be in New, in New Mexico on Thursday. Frank? All right, our Kyra Naveau breaking down a very busy week ahead as Election Day nears. All right, Kai, thanks so much.